Yes. So what's the number one thing uh, when someone basically gets engaged that they start doing? Like, what's the normal process? For example, uh, is the first thing somebody does is find a hotel and a venue and then find the dress, then or then find the groom? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, how does it, you know, like, how does it work? Yeah. Um, uh, ideally, I think once you find the groom. Yeah. I yeah. think. Uh, or, or the bride, whoever. Yeah, yes. whoever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, okay. Um, I think. Ideally, you should be blocking the venue. The venue. The venue. Okay, so venue is number one. Number one. Okay. Always. Because uh, A, you, um, the date that you have in mind, usually like if it's an auspicious day, there are a couple of weddings at least or two, three weddings or four weddings even, might really like it, it, considering it's an auspicious day, there are a lot more people who will opt for the same day, right? Understood, yeah. Right, and uh, that's one. And you will also have the time to kind of negotiate and get a good deal. Yeah. So in, in India, how often or how far ahead do people book their wedding hotels, whether it's the Leela, the Goa, the Marriott? Is it six months, three months? Six. Six to, months. Ideally, you can start even uh, eight months. Depends. Okay. You'll have to push them for it. Like okay. The, the bigger the hotel, they commit to a shorter time. The bigger the hotel, they commit to a short... So like the Ritz-Carlton in Bombay? Let's for, say like six, seven months, eight months. Okay, and what places, like these uh, fancy Jaipur Palace ones, like those take a year in advance yeah. at least? Yeah, right? okay. minimum. Why do people love those weddings, by the way? I'm so, like, it's like in the middle of nowhere, right? Those ones? There's no beach, it's like a lake or something. Is it that um, whole? It's that whole, that, I mean, you, come on, you, have you been to uh, No, that's palace? why I'm full of shit oh when I'm asking God, the question. Do you it's have... gorgeous. Yeah. It's beautiful. Okay. So once you're there, it, uh-huh. You, I mean, decor is something that will be last on your mind Understood. because you just feel so special. God, you feel like some like royalty, like sixteen hundred royalties, yes. or whatever. Okay, so it's beautiful. so people get engaged ideally first, then they book the then they book the hotels. <laughs> then uh, what happens next? The girl generally will go shopping for her stuff like six months before. Like, how does it? Um, yeah, the uh, sh- firstly like jewelry, then wardrobe. Or wardrobe and then jewelry. Okay. A uh, lot of uh, brides also want to wear their uh, family uh, clothing, uh, cl- uh, heirloom jewelry or whatever. Okay, so um, January 1st, somebody gets engaged. By the end of the month or by the end of Feb, they probably have a hotel lockdown. Yes, ideally should. No, but normally what happens is the negotiations take a while. Okay. With the hotel. With the hotel. With the hotel venue, whatever. So they start looking for a month so, or two. Yeah, you'll yeah. have to start. And you... Ideally, keep at least a month or two for your hotel and negotiations. For the venue, recce, start with the venue, uh, uh, recceing, mm-hmm. and uh, you'll have, you finalize on always. That's another thing I would suggest that try and have like two favorite places. Please don't uh, set your heart on like one. Because it may not work out. Yeah. yeah. And okay. if you, like from the beginning, if you're like, hey, I, I'm happy to kind of uh, either A or plan A or plan B, mm-hmm. it's kind of, I think it works. No, mostly. of course. Yeah, I think that's right. a great suggestion because then people get, you know, there was even hotels we were looking at and they didn't work out. And then when everything was said and done, we were like, I'm so glad it didn't work out there because it would have been too hot. Or, right. But in the moment you get caught up and you think... You get caught up yeah. and you're just like, you try to, um, I mean, pretty much okay everything that the hotel is asking you for. Like, yeah. And you don't want to do that. It's so funny when we were, because uh, we had a wedding planner that was a family friend in Bangkok, and we were like, oh, yeah, we'll pick them up in buses, and we'll have music on the bus and beers, and, and, and then when we then we had all this stuff planned. We'll give them bracelets and luggage tags, and then as we were getting the bills for all these, we're like, okay, we can cancel that. We can cancel <laughs> that. We can remove. They don't need luggage tags. They know it's their bag. They know what their bag looks like. Why give them an extra luggage tag? It's a waste yeah, of money. Like, exactly. So yeah. that's the thing with the yeah. wedding industry. When you say it's a billion dollar industry, it, yeah. that's how it is. You can pretty much customize Anything. everything. Yeah. Like if you want your spoons customized with your initials, you there is a market for that. Yeah. So that, you know. that's a great segue into one of the big questions I wanted to ask you, which is, you know, what makes a killer Indian wedding? 